Welcome to another video. I felt like taking a break from all the hard stuff, so I found some problem. It's an equation with a floor function. So, let's solve it. We'll just do the traditional thing we do, nothing strange, the same systematic approach I always take when I solve floor function, introducing K, that's what we're gonna do. Let's get into the video. So we know that the floor of anything is always an integer. Always an integer. So we're going to write the relationship between the integer and this and also this. So note in your head that this is equal to k. We know that this floor is equal to k. But when you compare it to what is inside, it is less than or equal to 6x plus 5 over 8. And this is always less than its own ceiling, which can be written in terms of the floor as k plus 1. So this is the first thing that we need. We also know that 15x minus 7 over 5 is k because that is the floor of this side. So those are the two things you need and you'll be able to get your answer. So let's clean this up. Let's multiply everything by 8. So we have 8k is less than or equal to 6x plus 5 and it's less than 8k plus 8. We can remove this 5, subtract 5. We have 8k minus 5 is less than or equal to 6x um, and that's less than, if you subtract 5 from here, you're going to have 8k plus 3. And then you divide by 6, you have 8k minus 5 divided by 6 is less than or equal to x. And that's less than 8k plus 3 divided by 6. So this is an essential part. Let's mark it. We also know that k is equal to this. So we can as well say that, let's write it here, k is equal to 15x minus 7 over 5. So if we multiply, we have 5k is equal to... Um, so what we're trying to do here is we need to write x in terms of k. Here we have an inequality, but we need an equation. So it's going to be 5k um, is going to be 15x minus 7, which shows that 5k, let's say 5k plus 7, divided by 15 will be equal to x. Now, once you've gotten to the point where you've written x in terms of k and you have an inequality or you have an inequality or inequalities connecting x with k, you're ready to start solving because now I know this is my x, but I can do x and k. I can do k and k. So I'm going to take this and put it here in the middle so that my inequality in essence is going to be, let's write it. Therefore, let me go back here. No, that's going back. I don't want to go back. So we can say, therefore, 8k minus 5 over 6 is less than or equal to x, but this is my x. It's going to be 5k plus 7 over 15, and that's less than 8k plus 3 over 6. So now you can solve two pairs of inequalities. But before we move on, I'd like to clear these fractions. So I'm going to multiply every part here by 30. Okay, multiply this by 30, by 30, by 30. You're going to end up with 5 here. So this is going to be 40k minus 25. It's less than or equal to multiply by 30. You have 10k um, plus 14. And it's less than 
five, that's 40K plus 15. Okay. What are we looking for again? We're looking, we wanna know what K is. So let's now have two separate inequalities. We're gonna fo focus on this one. So we have 40K minus 25K is less than or equal to 10K plus 14. If I bring this 10K here and move this over to this, sorry, this is just 25. And I move this 25 over to the other side, I'm gonna end up with 30K is less than or equal to 39. So that K is less than or equal to 39 over 30. So this number is actually greater than one, but it's less than two. Ta-da-da! Okay, let's solve the second part of the inequality. We're gonna say that 10K plus 14 um, is less than 40k plus 15. So that if we move 10k here and bring, no, you know what, let's, yeah, let's do that. Bring the 15 here, you're gonna end up with negative one and you have 30k. And this tells you that k is greater than negative one over 30. Okay. So ultimately, what we have is we have a number that is less than k and we have a number that is greater than k. So we can say, finally, let's write it with this one. So we know that negative 1 over 30 is less than k and k is less than or equal to 39 over 30. Based on this result, the two integers that are in this range are 0 and 1. Those are the two values of k. And that appears to be the two sources for our answer. Because remember, this is x, and we're looking for x. We just need to go plug in two values for k into this equation, and we're going to get our x's. So let's go. Ta-da-da! So let's start with the first one. Um, for k equals 0, we're going to have x equals 5 times 0 plus 7 over 15. What would that be? That's going to be 7. Let's write it properly. So x, let's call it x1, equals 7 over 15. Okay, we've got one answer here. Now, if you plug in 7 over 15 into this, you're going to get your answer. Okay, I'll leave you to do the check. Now, we do the second one. Um, we have x will be equal to, we're plugging in 1, so it's going to be 5 times 1 plus 7 over 15, and that's going to be 12 over 15, which is going to be 4 over 5. We'll call it x2. So those are the two solutions that we're going to get. So we can easily say that x um, is, which one is smaller? 7 over 15. 7 over 15, comma 4 over 5. And that's it. Hope you had fun. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning, stop living. Bye-bye.